when you get to design your own hotel, you design it with a lot of passion, a lot of care, a lot of love, and there are layers of uh, thinking that goes into it. From the smallest detail of how you experience the place to what the staff would wear, it's probably the most incredible commission an architect can have in his own life. Every architect dreams about having a hotel. I think Suri Bali is one of the most honest things I've done. Because you have to be honest because you don't have a client to blame. You, know, you have only yourself. It's you and the project. It's as close to an artist making a piece of work as he possibly can. People come for refuge and for rebalancing, for contemplation. So to achieve that, the architecture has to be balanced. It has to be quiet and it has to exude a feeling of peace and calmness. And the best way to make it authentic and off the place is to hire the locals. So 80% of the staff are from Tabana and from the village. Not only is it sustainable, you can walk to work, you can cycle to work, you come on motorbike, and they're welcoming a guest to experience their house and their way of life. So at that point, I knew that I want to design a resort that wasn't about building a monument. It was a resort that's about making a place. So if you look at the architecture of Suri Bali, it's all about enclosing outdoor spaces and courtyards. It's all about compression and release. When you first arrive at the resort after going through a beautiful drive, there's a court. So you pause at the court and you go down a long driveway that's narrow. Even at that point, you're not aware that there's a big ocean. It's only upon you being dropped off, entering the first court and turning left and ascending some steps, there's this big moment of seeing nature and ocean. There's a series of favorite spaces, you know, but obviously there's a place that I like. The place that I like is the peninsula of the rock. I walk up there several times to see sunrise and sunset. And every time I hear, I, I think about putting something on that rock. And it's already, what, eight years? I still can't get myself to put something on the rock. And there's, there's just a reason. Maybe it doesn't need anything. The first day I stood here, I understood that there's some energy in this land. I've been to other plots. It doesn't have the energy. This place is spiritual. And it's good energy. So for people that seek relief from the daily pressures of working in large urban cities, when they come here, they'll get the respite. I think to me, um, luxury travel is about the authentic experience. Service should be instinctive and not pre-programmed. You should have flexibility, flexibility to have a late breakfast, to have breakfast at night, to have a spa at midnight. You know, you should be on your own time. And there's no concept of a late checkout. I mean, why have a late checkout, right? If it's empty, you can check out anytime you like. So we want to instill that feeling of being away from the structure. Suri is about a lifestyle and a mindset. SCDA is about design. And I feel like you need both to truly represent an experience. The Suri brand came about out of a collaboration between my wife and I. Uh, my name is Sue and her name is Sri. And the whole process of putting together Suri Bali is truly a collaboration of Ling and myself. It's, it's as if we're inviting guests to our house. And if you were to visit my house, I would say it pretty much feels the same as this hotel. So what you see in this hotel is really real and what's from my heart. When I built this, the kids were young. Hopefully they'll get married here too. You know, it's a, it's a long process. When we started, it's 2005. It was 11 years ago when we started, right? They don't think anything about it. It's like a home, like a home.